before she can start One of those chain reactions in my heart A big explosion, big and loud And now a page from our Sunday Morning Almanac April 22nd, 1952 60 years ago today The day a nuclear bomb test in the Nevada desert was televised live, preserved in this murky video. The CBS News broadcast See It Now, followed up a few days later, with Edward R. Morrow's report on troops who had been placed as observers to the blast, little more than four miles from ground zero, without one piece of important protection from the flash. The special extra dark glasses were supplied to the members of the press and the corps of very important persons including some eight governors and several congressmen. The troops, however, wore no glasses. What the troops did have were misconceptions, according to a Department of Defense film about the test. Some of them thought they would never again be able to have families. Some of them expected to be deaf or blind. Some of them expected to glow for hours after the bomb went off. The bomb was dropped from a plane was to explode over a huge painted bullseye. I sure hope that uh, Air Force knows what they're doing. Fire, two, two, one, zero. Hello, man. Ah, look at it. After the blast, See It Now talked with the troops. Did you ever want to be any closer than you were today to an atomic bomb drop? No, sir, I wouldn't. Uh, that was too close today to suit me. Farther away, civilians greeted the test lightheartedly, as See It Now discovered at a Las Vegas hotel. This is our special here, the Flamingo Atom Bomb. Tony knows the bomb can explode any time of the year, day or night. Years later, a documentary film called The Atomic Cafe further explored our sometimes giddy fascination with all things atomic. Duck, duck and cover. Duck and cover yourself. Duck and cover. Nevada's nuclear tests ended with President Kennedy's signing of the 1963 Test Ban Treaty. And there were, in fact, long-term consequences. A study published in 2006 blamed radioactive fallout from the 86 above-ground tests for as many as 49,000 cases of thyroid cancer nationwide. 